We're ready to go. Am I recording? Yep, they're recording. Whoa. Let's come down low. Go to the right. Okay. Trying to keep it steady. It's going towards me a little bit. Oh, there we go. Up in the sun. Ooh. Well, I can kind of see the sun when it flutters, reflecting off the bottom of the wings a little bit. And just reflecting off the top of it. Oh. Turns pretty sharp. See that? Whoa. <laughs> we get some breeze blowing now. Not sure if I'm going to fly more in one pack or if I'll leave it at that. Whoa. Not sure how close I was to those trees. I got the throttle off, kind of hanging up there in the wind a little bit. Let's turn to the left, give some throttle. Oh, well, I didn't do that quite right. Didn't give enough throttle soon enough and turned to where I was with the wind and it stalled and dropped down to the ground. But unlike my drone, it's super freaking easy to find because it's big and it's white. With a drone, it'd be like, oh shit, where is it at? Where is it at? And we get over here. Oops, I stepped in some cow poop. Damn, I hope it's not sticking to my shoe. Okay, get out here in the open area. Uh, disarmed it, so now give some again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, my motor died. What the hell? Now seems fine. I don't know what happened there. I think I might have actually turned one of my switches. Get it up there, floating in the wind a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, just kind of hanging there, not moving much. Oh, we're missling down, going down like a torpedo, coming right at me almost. Oh, I can see some. Uh, a red and blue light underneath because it's getting dark now. Dang, I gotta install the lights on this so it looks cool flying this time of the day. Yeah, there we go. Just gotta remember when I'm going slow not to stall it. I got three 
green things on the battery. Green, three out of four green lights to show battery strength. So I can fly quite a while here, which I will. And I have been. Let's go straight across. Well, throttle. We'll go towards the cattle. Now they're busy eating. I need to start uh, pinching this. I've been thumbing it the whole time. And when I start flying it more of what you call acro or manual mode, I'm going to have to go to pitching because I don't think the thumbing will do it. Though a lot of people do the thumbing. Yeah, getting pushed sideways a little bit by the wind. Oh yeah, I like seeing that triangle. See, it's kind of wiggling around when I don't have any throttle. Get a little throttle, smooth it out, bring it down. Going right overhead. Some throttle, turn around. Give a high speed pass. Go up in the air. Turn and try diving down. Whoa, didn't do that well at diving down. Of course, if I had it in, didn't have it in the safe mode. Whoa, it's just floating up above. Looks so cool. Oh, I did order a harness so I can track with the GoPro on my head rather than on my chest. Got that order today. Hope it'll be here by the end of next week. I would hope so. Got that. And then for my GoPro, I got a charger because right now I can only charge it in the actual camera itself. So I can get things charged up, but it sure be nice just to have a charger. Since I had all four batteries this morning, we're down to 31% or 32%, right around there. And need to charge. But I got them all charged up fine. Just got to make sure I use my more powerful cable. Whereas in the one for my... I got a long one, but doesn't charge powerfully. But I got to use my phone cable, which I got two of them. I'm not sure I know where both of them are at. That charges the, bat the GoPro batteries somewhat quickly. But it would be nice to have a dedicated charger. Ooh, gotta make sure I keep the camera tracking. My little Ultrex, iFlight Ultrex. Whoa, it's coming right at me. Give it a little up elevator when it goes by so it doesn't hit me. And it's just cruising. Oh, there we go. Coming by. Smooth. So smooth. And I think I got my Aero Scout, which is one I originally had. I think I got it glued up pretty well where I can fly it tomorrow. Yeah, with a safe makes me look like a decent pilot. But if I try to go manual, it's like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Yeah, I know when I watch all these videos, people always, they come by with low passes. They're generally flying high. Of course, a lot of times that's to avoid the trees or avoid uh, electric lines and the poles by the road. There, kind of go a little slower pass here. And go up, we'll turn, and drop it down. 
Well, there we got some speed up. I want to go that way so it's like uh, you can see the sunset. It looks pretty wonderful from here. It's like darn, I got to finish flying this plane. Oh, I'm down between second and the second light, green light. See? Oh, we went to one. No more flickering. Oh, I hate to stop, but I guess I should bring it in. Oh, no, back to two lights. It's kind of like the flying the drone. I'll get indicator land now. Because it's low on battery. Because it gets down below 3.5 volts per cell. And then I let off and back to 3.6 something typically. Well, I want to fly my Aero Scout and then get and get a camera on it like I used to have. And hopefully, it should fly. Well, it does fly as easy as this, but I just run the problem. I crashed it. I was thought I was flicking the switch back into safe mode, but I was another is a three position switch, and I was in the third position, not the middle, because up here I'll just put it in. Uh, I thought it was in the middle, I put it back to the first one, and simple enough, then it levels out. But I was in the third position, I switched to the second and smashed the hell out of it, and I lost my camera. Maybe I should go look for my camera. I might be able to find it with this grass is down a lot more. That'd be kind of cool if I could find my camera. Well, let's, well, drone didn't, didn't, plane didn't come close enough to me. I was going to try to catch it, but I still got a good battery. Oh, this is so fun. Just flying it around here. Get a little more power here. I like flying close to the ground. That's like a lot of these guys testing. Planes will fly them. Whoa, whoa shit. Again, it's coming right at me. This is not good. They'll like fly them up in the air and then they'll dive down to make a pass. So they're coming by so you can get a good view of the plane or you can hear it. Like that one just whizzing by, but it doesn't make cool noises at all. But yeah, the wind's picking up a little bit now. Here you see it's moving along pretty good with no uh, help. Almost caught it. Oh, turn it off. Had a successful flight here. No wrecks. And the battery is done. Yeah.